Hey GC, I'm Logan Whaley here with Abby Foresight. Any girls trying out for softball this February needs to attend conditioning on Mondays and Wednesdays. Conditioning lasts from 3.30 to 5.15 each day. The deadline to register for the February ACT is today. To register, head to ACT.org. You will need to have a credit card number or get a free wa fee waiver from your counselor if you qualify for free or reduced lunch. Attention juniors and seniors, prom is right around the corner and DECA is hosting the prom fashion show on January 30th. The fashion show is during third period and in fourth period during second lunch. It's only $1 to attend. Coach Watson and Coach Knight will be competing against some of the district's best chess players and other area chess players in a tournament this weekend. Anybody that wants to stop by and witness this tournament should come to the GCHS library between 9 and 1 o'clock this Saturday. The proceeds build scholarship funds. So far, they have raised more than $1,000. Ceramics students need to pick up any ceramics projects by next Friday or they will be thrown or given away to clear space for the new class. The Grace County Public Library will be undergoing renovations for the next six months and the library will be moving to a temporary location in the Old Goodies Building next to Tractor Supply in Mayfield. Unfortunately, the library will be closed on January 19th until the 2nd of February. Therefore, the employment Q&A and the family movie night are both canceled. During the break, Gracie previews tonight's huge district games. And Kenzie Murphy gives us a look inside girls basketball practice. Hello, Graves County. Last night, our bowling teams traveled to McCracken County in a matchup against the Mustangs. Austin Dunn rolled the high score with a 245, but our boys fell short, losing 3 4. However, our girls came out top, rolling an impressive 7 0. Sarah Watts rolled a 245 as well. Our bowling team will travel to Louisville this weekend to compete in the Louisville Dixie Bowl. Good luck, everyone. Tonight, our basketball teams will travel to Mayfield in a district matchup game. The girls will tip off at 6 and the boys will follow. The theme for tonight is cooking up the cardinals, so everyone dress up as chefs. Bring your own spatula, make or wear your own chef hat, and you can bring your own apron. But if you don't have an apron, they will be provided first come, first serve to whoever is at the student section first. So get there as early as you can. The better, the earlier you are, the better chance you have of being provided with an apron. Remember, the girls tip off at 6. Tomorrow, the boys and girls will compete in a doubleheader in Mustang Madness. They will host Fulton City. For GCTV, I'm Gracie Martin. Keep it classy, Eagle Nation. GC, it's Maya with your weather. Today is going to be sunny with a high of 23 and a low of 7. Tomorrow is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 27 and a low of 19. And Sunday, we're going to have a bit of rain and sleet with a high of 38 and a low of 32. For GC TV, I'm Ryan Tibbs. Have a great weekend. Everybody wanna see some my chicken, 
Seniors, Mr. Bob Farr will be in the cafeteria starting January 15th to take measurements for your caps and gowns. He will be here at 7.30. Four Rivers Behavioral Health is sponsoring a poster contest regarding misleading alcohol and tobacco advertisements. First prize is $500, second place is $250, and third place is $150. See Ms. Horn or Ms. Colley for information and a submission form. Submission deadline is April 3rd. GC Baseball is having their annual chili supper January 16th at 5 p.m. in the cafeteria. They will serve chili, hot dogs, sandwiches, and drinks. Tickets are $5 and can be purchased from any baseball player, coach, forward, or at the door. Any student who is currently enrolled in 10th grade and is at least 15 years old by March is eligible to apply for the summer camp designed for a student who is interested in the healthcare profession. Students will participate in a variety of clinical settings. If interested, see Ms. Rogers in the guidance office for more information. It is time to prepare for the annual Rotary Speech Contest. The, stop, the top student at the finals will be awarded $2,200. Local contest winner will be awarded $300, with the second place winner receiving $200, and third place will get $100. This year's topic is Light Up Rotary. Any, any interested students should see Ms. Rogers in the guidance office for more information. DECA students who would like to compete in the February 3rd conference at Murray State need to pay their $30 conference fee to Ms. McKee no later than today. FBLA study sessions will be held every Monday and Tuesday after school until 4 o'clock in E36 until the Region 1 Conference on Monday, March the 2nd. All competitors should attend as many study sessions as possible. If you plan to attend, please see Ms. Gaddis. Let, please let Ms. Gaddis know so she can have study materials ready for your event. That's all we have for today, guys. For GCTV, I'm Abby Forsythe. And I'm Logan Whaley. Don't forget to come out to Mayfield tonight. Have a great day, GC.